But I wanted to share something that I got for my birthday. I have been urban sketching for quite some time. I started urban sketching back in 2011 and this whole time I've only been using micron pens to sketch. I have so many different sizes. When I like something, I will use it consistently. I'm kind of a creature of habit and so that's all I've been using for sketching. I have thought about using fountain pens, but they've just always intimidated me for some reason. Now I feel like I really wanna dabble in the fountain pen realm. <laughs> I added that on my wish list and my sister got it for me. I wanted to get a fountain pen that was just all black, sleek, simple. I even asked some of my favorite urban sketchers what fountain pens they recommend. I forgot what, it was, what it's called, but I'll leave it down below. Um, I'll eventually get that one, but I wanted to try this one because it got a lot of great reviews. It was like 12 or maybe 20 or 25,000 reviews. So the brand is by Aspen, or Aspen. Uh, it's a black forest fountain pen with the case. So this is what the case looks like. Very simple. <clears throat> it's quite heavier than I thought it would be. It's really nice. Focus. Please excuse my nephew in the background. <laughs> oh, let's do the <laughs> influencer thing. And then <clears throat> I added this to my wish list. I was looking for a really good waterproof ink and this was one that a lot of people recommended. If you have any recommendations for other waterproof inks for fountain pens, please let me know down below. I definitely want to try different ones, but this is one that I heard great reviews about. I love the label. I'm kind of scared because <laughs> I've never filled up a fountain pen before. So in case it gets messy, I have this craft paper here. And so, look at that nib. Just gonna open it up. So we're just gonna fill up the reservoir with the ink. And then we're gonna test it out. <clears throat> Am I doing this right? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so, oh my goodness. Should I keep it in here? No. Okay, I need to shake it. Shake it like a Polaroid picture. <laughs> It's all bubbly. Okay. Oh, I put a little too much, but anyway, can you see it? <clears throat> I hope I'm doing this right. Oh, oh, oh wait. It doesn't look super black, which is what I'm used to. Are there different types of <clears throat> black ink from this brand? I don't know if I really looked at it. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna fill it up all the way to the top. That was easier than I thought. Oh my goodness, you guys. I figured out the proper way to fill up the reservoir um, through this converter. I have to twist this. And I literally just dip it in there and it just fills it up. Amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna use my Moleskin sketchbook to do the test swatches. I hope I put the ink right. Oh, there you go. <clears throat> Ooh, hold on, let's do my signature.
nice. Well, let's draw this cute cat washi tape dispenser. <laughs> easily the ink flows. I don't have to press hard on the nib or anything. Really loving it so far. And after this, I'm gonna add some quick watercolor washes to see how waterproof it is. Cause I do plan on using this for when I do like coffee shop sketches and on location sketches. Schminka watercolor set and then my pencil aqua wash water brush. Okay, just some quick washes. Okay. Okay, I'm really loving it. It's not smearing at all. You can just go over it again with the ink. It smears a little bit. I should probably just let the watercolor um, completely dry next time. I'm writing. with my new fountain pen. I love it. the dark gray I think at first I was like oh I'm not used to this but <clears throat> I think it will look nice with my sketches it's not super bold or anything and if I do this it doesn't smudge at all thank goodness <laughs> so first impression I really love the pen and how easily the ink flows I was a little worried about that I really hate when pens don't write well. I think the weight makes it feel like it's a high-end fountain pen, but it's really not. It's like less than $20, I think. But yeah, I love that it's a little heavier and it's super minimalistic, very sleek, 
And the reason why I wanted to get a fountain pen is because I wanted to be more, you know, eco-friendly. All these years I've been drawing with micron pens and I would constantly dispose of them and go into the store to buy new ones. And the thing with micron pens is that I tend to press down really hard on the nibs and you guys know or may not know that I love using the 005 micron pens and those are really thin. I always start off with the 005s and I go through that really fast. And a lot of them, like you can see, it's like completely flat. It's like almost gone, like the nib. I'm the kind of person who likes to use products consistently. And you guys know, I've had this since 2015 and I still have a lot in there. I don't want to constantly consume and buy new things, um, especially when it comes to art supplies. Like I want to make sure that whatever I am using, I can continue using for five, 10 years, even 20 years, if anything. This is definitely gonna be my number one go-to pen from now on. I'm really impressed with this sketch ink. If there are any other waterproof inks that you would recommend, leave them in the comments down below. I would love to try them out. So that is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you love and appreciate art journaling and urban sketch videos, subscribe down below. Have a great day and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.